In the early 1900s, people of color were not allowed in many public places in Columbus, including the Carnegie Library on Mott's Green, which opened its doors on October 15, 1907. This was Columbus's first dedicated freestanding library. July 1947, Mr. Bradley died. His family donated his 12-acre estate to the city of Columbus. It was decided that this property would be the new home of the Columbus Public Library. October 1st, 1947, the Negro Citizens Committee with their attorney appeared before the Muskogee County School District Commission Board and registered a protest because of a clause that reads, no part of said property shall be used, occupied, or enjoyed by persons of African descent. April 22nd, 1949, Superintendent Henry Shaw met with the Negro Citizens Committee to discuss the proposed Negro Library, also known as Project Number 9-A. July 18, 1950, the Muskogee County Board of Education purchased a lot at the corner of 4th Avenue and 7th Street for the purpose of constructing a library branch, 1951. The Board of Education settled negotiations with Dan Streetman, leaseholder of the property on 4th Avenue and 7th Street. Construction of the Colored Public Library took place during 1952, and on November 24th, the new library was approved by the school boards. The 4th Avenue Library was the first library in Columbus, Georgia available to African Americans. It opened its doors on January 5th, 1953. Over 1,000 borrows were registered. Over 3,500 books circulated between January 5th and January 31st, 1953. Ms. Mildred Lane Terry became the first librarian at the branch. July 5th, 1963. African-American teens attempted to use the segregated Bradley Library. September 1964, all libraries in Chattahoochee Valley Library System were racially integrated. During the 1970s, the 4th Avenue Library thrived as a staple in the community. On December 31, 1980, Mildred L. Terry retired after 28 years of service to the community. And on January 28, 1981, the 4th Avenue Library was renamed in her honor, making Mildred L. Terry Public Library the only Chattahoochee Valley Library named after a person. In June 1986, the library was suggested for closure based on a cost effectiveness study. The recommendation was met with strong opposition. Articles were published in the newspaper calling for public support to save the library. These efforts worked and the library remained open. On January 7, 2003, the mayor issued a proclamation recognizing the 50th anniversary of the Mildred L. Terry Public Library. On May 3, 2003, an evening of reminiscence at the Liberty Theater focused on what the library did and still does for the citizens of Chattahoochee Valley and beyond. October 3rd, 2003, saw the dedication of the Mildred L. Terry Library's historical marker. Due to demand and community support, the Muskogee County School Board agreed to renovate and expand the Mildred L. Terry Library. June 12th, 2008, marked the groundbreaking for the new Mildred L. Terry Library. Staff continued to serve customers from the original building as the new one is erected. Mildred L. Terry staff and volunteers physically moved every single book by cart down Veterans Parkway to stock the new library. On June 2nd, 2009, the new building opened to the public. And the rest, as they say, is history.